So I've had the privilege of knowing you guys for a while and uh, your story inspires me. You were married at a very early age, you eloped. Um, you've both changed jobs a couple of times since I've known you. Um, and the last few years um, haven't exactly gone according to plan. So for those who maybe don't know you, um, could you give a little bit of a recap of what's been going on the last few years in your life? We got married, like you said, at a young age. We knew that because we were so young, we didn't want to have kids right away. So we bought a house, and after we bought our first house a couple, three years ago, three and a half years ago, we decided that we were ready to start our family. And so for the last three and a half years, we have been struggling with infertility. Three and a half years of trying um, has to be frustrating. Uh, yeah, it's definitely frustrating. Um, in the beginning, I think it was a little harder just because when you're when you're excited about trying to start a family, you're real upbeat and optimistic. And when it doesn't happen, you start to get discouraged real quickly. There's always that thought in the back of your head that you know, why hasn't it happened now and, and why don't we have it yet? And you do want to get angry, um, but at the same time, you just you know, I just always tell myself to take it slow and take everything day by day and, and have faith in God and have faith that He is going to give us what we need and um, that's what gets me through it. We have both been tested and we've been told at first that everything was fine, everything looked great, there was no answers to why, why we couldn't have kids, which was really frustrating. I was really having a hard time with then why isn't it happening? Why we didn't we just didn't understand. We went to a couple different doctors. We saw a fertility specialist a couple weeks ago and got some answers, which we had been praying for answers. We were not happy with the answer that we were given, but we were thankful to finally have an answer. So we have been working through that and we've been praying about that and Right now, we're just trying to figure out what option to take. There are so many options, but they're all scary. Again, we have faith that this is gonna happen for us. We just don't know what that looks like. Typically, when things don't go according to plan, when you're facing trials like this, um, people quit, they give up, they lose faith, they lose hope, uh, not grow closer together. Have you been tempted to quit, to just get frustrated, angry, mad at each other, at God, at uh, What's it been like? Um, I don't think I've ever been tempted to quit and give up on God, but it's definitely been a struggle. We've, we've had to work very, very hard for our marriage through all of this. Um, I think I can understand why people think it's easy to give up and to just stop, but our marriage is extremely important to us, and just having that faith that God is going to provide for us. Yeah, we're still very fortunate for, for what we do have and, and the things we can do. Mm -hmm. In the midst of trials, it's really hard to see past right now. Uh, what's happening right now around me? What advice would you have to people who are maybe stuck in that, uh, I can't see past right this very second? Um, I think not comparing yourself to other people's situations is really important. I mean, we have a ton of friends right now that are all having babies and it can be difficult, but we're so happy for them that we don't let that bring us down. I think for both of us, we, through this struggle, we realize how amazing life is. So what's next for you two? We're praying every day. We're staying patient. We're having faith in God that uh, everything is on his path and on his timeline. and. We're just taking it day by day. And hopefully at the end of this journey, we'll, we'll have a baby and we'll have a family, but if not, we just will be okay with whatever God has in store for us. I feel like infertility is, is really hard, especially in marriage. And if we can get through this and our faith can grow through this, then I think we're good.